This is the Domino's Post Game Report. Adam Cavalier John Cor- joined courtside by Carson <coughs> Newman, head men's basketball coach Chuck Benson here on the Eagle Sports Network. Chuck, you started the game on a 10-3 run, dominated from the outset, uh, wound up by as many as 30 point, 34 points in the second half. What did you do to control things against a team that absolutely gave you fits a year ago? I thought we uh, we came out and, especially the first half, established um, a level of dominance. Uh, our guys, especially our veteran guys, remember how difficult the challenge was last year and how that uh, we were fortunate to win at Holt last year. So we knew that that, that, um, that they would come out, uh, Wise would come out with a lot of uh, excitement. It's their home opener, a great facility here. Man, I've never been in here, great facility, great crowd. And I thought that uh, our guys were really, really up for the challenge and, and, and really just went about business as we had hoped they would. Defensively, uh, very impressive. Hold UVA-wise to <clears throat> 32% shooting and 7 of 26 from the floor. What did you do to clamp down on that? Well, we, we really talked a lot about their personnel and who could do what. Uh, now, Badmus came out the second half and just played free and easy. Uh, but really the first half, I thought when we established a sort of a tone on how we were going to defend the three, I think they were they made two the first half, something mm-hmm. like that. Made five the second. But, again, the second half – it got up to like I said, thirty, thirty-five, and, and and they were just launching, man. Just so they they kicked a couple in, but uh, I, again, I go back to our guys' preparation the last couple of days, and then the execution of uh, of our report, which which was to come in here and not let this team get excited from the three-point line, which we thought they were capable of doing for sure. You know, I talked about it pregame about Tywo Badmus and Dimitri Sosa. Yeah, Badmus does get twenty-four, but. Uh, the bulk of that, as you mentioned, did come in the second half. Dimitri Sosa, though, who had thir- <coughs> 35 on you a year ago, 0 for 4, no points. Yeah. What would you do on him? Uh, well, I mean, I, we just made it tough, made it tough. And, you know, uh, the two of them last year at Holt put up 62 on us, 35 and 27, some kind of thing. This year, Badmus 24, Sosa 0. So we, we cut that production in half. And, and, and like I said, Badmus at the, at the half, I think he had, what, four? Yeah. So – you know, he really exploded the second half, but a lot of that was just the nature of the game and how it became sort of – you saw it that last 10 minutes, man. It was just a, uh, an ugly display because, you know, I, I think I think uh, both teams sort of wanted the thing to sort of be over because of the difference and in, 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 in there was fouls and just sort of became a little grotesque there uh, at the end. They were – so they were just coming in and just playing pickup ball for the most part, just kicking the thing in, and and uh, we were able to – we were able to um, – we, we lost some of our ability then to, to keep – Badmus from from putting points on the board. Still, a lot of guys uh, <laughs> wind up on the stat sheet. Yeah, the debut of Dima Baikov, he gets four points and four rebounds. Uh, what was it like to be able to get some guys some extended playing time there late? Well, yeah, I mean, we 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 we, we were hoping, you're always hoping you can do that, and we. Uh, but but here's the thing: we, we don't give anybody anything. You know, he had shown a level in practice the last couple of days that earned the opportunity to be that third person rotation at, at the five. <clears throat> and then he, he did something with it. So uh, good for Demon and good for us cause, because, you know, he's a big human, just a freshman, retro freshman. <laughs> but he's a load, man, and, and he can cause problems. So hopefully he'll continue to evolve for us. A big human. Uh, I mean, yeah. That's it, good analysis, John. He's, he's a giant. <laughs> you say, he's a giant. So, uh, What did you improve upon from the first weekend of competition against Lander uh, in Southern Wesley into this game that you felt really showed out here tonight? Well, this is the first true road game for us. The other two were neutrals. So uh, I, liked, I liked our overall level of poise and confidence. Not that we didn't display that in the neutral games, but they were different. So it's hard really to compare uh, because, the thing, again, the thing I was most pleased with was for those people who have not been here, when you come to this place, this is, this is an elite this facility. Is a gorgeous facility. And no one that was home opener, and they have a, a big-time you know, pregame production, lights out, laser beams, I mean, the whole deal. And our kids stayed poised and focused and took care of business uh, and weren't rattled by any of that. Really, really came out strong. That, that first, going into that first media, I feel like we had already established, a, you know, a sense that we were here to do business. And, uh, and I just, I like that consistency. Quick turnaround to play King, 7.30 on <coughs> uh, Saturday. The tornado coming off of a one-point overtime win tonight against the Lenore Ryan Bears. Uh, number one thing to improve upon for tonight as you prepare for uh, a George Pitch Pitts coached club on Saturday. Well, I think we've got to do a, a great job with poise offensively. They're going to throw multiple defense package at you, and they're going to be just trying to create a tempo game, up tempo game. Uh, and then I think we've got to be able to go into that game and defend the three. I mean, Pitts' teams have historically showed they'll take you know 40, 50, 60 threes. 
And, you know, the style makes the fight, so our, our zone will probably entice them to do that. It's, it's going to be an interesting, an interesting uh, night, Saturday. Chuck, pleasure, pleasure as always. Congrats on the win. Great. Thanks, Cap. That is Carson Newman, head men.